Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, Watchman on the Wall in Northern California. It's Saturday, May 18th, 2019. I have my wife, Gail, here, and she had a dream last night. And I'd like her to explain it because I believe it's related to the vision I had this morning. So on this, in the same morning, it was a dream from her and a vision from me. Good morning, good morning everybody. Um, nor, well, let me give a little background. Some of you already know, but most of the time um, when I have dreams, it'll be like I don't have enough food or we're having a party and um, I haven't got all the food and I got to go to Costco and get food or forgot something. It's always about food and preparing food and getting ready for a party. But my dream this morning was that it was after the party and I was, it was cleaning up and serving and cleaning up. Um, so getting people to help serve and clean up the, all the dishes and stuff. And I even thought when I was dreaming, how oh, this is different than normally what I dream. It's normally about preparing and not having enough. And now it's already serving and cleaning up. So I thought that was interesting that it changed. Amen. Thank you, my head. And my dreams of doing similar. I remember I was telling you this because you'll relate to this. When I used to have dreams of that state building, but now they're changed to where I'm running the whole place and being, instead of being in prison, I'm like free yeah. and running around. So dreams are kind of evolving. It's amazing. And so the interpretation I got, please take this to the Lord and pray over this. The interpretation I got of all her dreams of being preparing was preparing for the wedding feast and, and us, you know, getting ready to be raptured, the removal of the church, you know, waiting, anticipating, you know, getting ready, all these things. And then, and now it's changed to it's after, I believe what she saw was after the rapture. And the cleaning up and all that of afterwards. It had already happened, already occurred. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, there was, there was people that were doing it. You Were you cleaning up with them or were there other, they were like. There was other people helping. There were other people yeah. helping. Okay, so do you remember of who any of them were? No. Okay, so now let's go. So uh, that was last night. And then this morning when I awoke. I had a vision. Now, the amazing part about this was I, I woke up. So I wake up, and I, I remember I put my hand over, and I, I touched my wife like I do every morning. I put my hand on her shoulder, make sure she's still here. I didn't get left behind. In the church, say amen. So, <laughs> <laughs> for real. And so, I, I, I first thing I do, I always reach over and make sure my wife's there and everything. And then I looked up at the wall. And there's this one part of our room where there's just nothing there you know what i mean matter of fact it's to the right of our wedding vows mm -hmm. there's just nothing there it's just blank and white and this i want to say like this letter or like this paragraph of these words showed up in my vision and they're on the wall and they're moving they're they're moving around and they're like of aramaic or Arabic or they're they're not English letters and they're it, it's a it's a, like some type of message or warning but I can't see it and so I'm praying I'm praying you know I'm awake now and I'm like L let me see what the let me see the writing on the wall and uh, like the first letter begins to appear and everything and all of a sudden you know like oh no I'm gonna see it I'm gonna see it but I never see it I see like the first letter and and then the vision stops and I come out here. And I told my wife, I said, I had a vision. And, and I, I'm like, it's a strange. I know it's going to sound crazy, but I already knew she had a dream. That's just how God works in our lives. And she said, well, I, I said, you had a dream, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and she goes, yeah. And so, so it was amazing. So I did some research on this, and I want to present this to the people. So in my dream, I looked it up. It was King Belshazzar that had this dream of the writing on the wall and it was in Daniel 5:25. Now this is amazing because it's actually the month 5, it's the month of May. 
You know, this is this is simply amazing how God works. So, if if we if we were to turn this five twenty five into part of the calendar, which I don't I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. I really don't. That would be seven days from the day of division, like in the seven years of tribulation. I mean, there's so many things you can read into that, but I don't want to read into that too much. But I found that amazing that even the chapter of the the dream that King uh, Belshazzar had was this month of May, representing this month of May. I found it amazing. And so, so let me tell you something. So Belshazzar's father was King Nebuchadnezzar. You know, and a lot of people think of that when you think about the, the New World Order and, you know, and prophecy and all these things. I, I brought up a picture. So his father, so King Belshazzar, Daniel interpreted the writing on the wall for him. And prior to that, in Daniel 2, uh, Belshazzar's father, King Nebuchadnezzar, had had a dream also. And it was about this uh, this tall statue, just three three chapters back. And it's and, and, and it, he had like a head of gold, which is, look, can everybody see that? Is Babylon. The head of gold was interpreted to mean Babylon. The breastplate of sil silver represented Medo-Persia. Now, if this is like the Iran area, the Iran area, and then the thighs of brass is Greece. It just go go look at some maps prophetically. The legs of iron were Rome, and look at this: the feet of iron and clay. His feet were mixed iron and clay. It mentioned it, 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 it represents a divided world of today represents today the destroying rock that was coming down i believe meteors were falling or something represents the kingdom of jesus coming so in other words all of these areas are destroyed <laughs> with the head be at babylon so now let's go back so if you go to this it tells about this writing on the wall look you could literally see this is what I saw. I wake up and I'm having this vision, but I'm awake. It's like the writing really was on the wall. So now what this, uh, when this happened, it was during the feast of Belshazzar, Belshazzar's feast. And what they had done, what the king had done was he had, he had acquired somehow, and I'm not sure how, he had acquired these golden cups to drink out of. They were considered holy. From the temple of Jerusalem, follow me on this, from the temple of Jerusalem. And what the king did is he 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 orders them to everyone, a thousand people, he orders that they all start drinking wine and a lot of wine and getting drunk. But they're drinking out of something, they're drinking something unclean out of thank you Jesus, out of something that was meant to be clean and righteous. They're acting unrighteously. You know, what did Jesus say about the the inside is clean and the, out, the outside? What is that about? You can't mix new wine and old vessels. That just came to me through the Holy Spirit. You cannot mix new wine with old vessels. In other words, you cannot put the Holy Spirit or something holy into something unclean. You have to be born again first. That is directly from the throat of God, I'm telling you. So they're all getting drunk and concubines and all these things. And I don't understand why they need a concubine. So, so as they're drinking out of something holy, out of the temple, the temple is now coming up again, the temple in Jerusalem. They're getting drunk. And after they get drunk, they begin praising the gods of gold and silver, of brass and iron, of wood and stone. I just caught something again. This is amazing. When I hit record, the Holy Spirit shows up. What's in this statue? gold and silver it was like it was it was like it was like the the it was like the dream his dad was having i just caught that for the first time ever they were praising the gods of gold and silver and as i as i read this the holy spirit he showed me he said it's just like when moses went up to get the 10 commandments from god they had went while 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 their leader was absent they had melted all their gold and they had turned it into a calf and they began worshiping the calf in other words like 
This world doesn't get it. They continue to repeat the same unholy sins over and over again. And not have faith and wait. And not have faith and wait. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so then the writing appears on this wall and Daniel interprets this to that uh, basically God is not happy with him and that this king has not humbled himself. And, uh, and that the very next day after Daniel interprets this, the King Belshazzar dies. And it mentions his father. It mentions his father's dream, uh, people and nations and languages. And it, 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 this is the rise of the one world order and the rise of the, the Antichrist. So he is not, O Belshazzar, he has not humbled thine heart. And then, and then it says, and then here's what it meant. It meant God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. You've been waiting the balance of found waiting. In other words, you've been judged. The kingdom is divided, given to the Medes and the Purge, Persians. In other words, the area of Iran. And then, uh, and then in, in that night was Belteshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, slain. So that same night that Daniel interpreted, he was slain. So now, the interpretation I got, and a lot of people aren't going to like this, is, uh, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it because people will get mad, but it's concerning Donald Trump. And I'll put it at that. Now, let me show you some confirmation here. So when, when they talk about this area, this is, this is the area. It mentions Arabia. So let's go down here and let's find this. I'll pause it. Hold on. So I, I, I had done some research on the area when it when it talks about Medo, Persia, and uh, Arabia, and these kingdoms, and this and that. Back then, <clears throat> the entire area was just known as Arabia. Arabia. And so I brought up this map of Arabia, because it's talking about all these kingdoms and stuff, and I wanted to see what where that area was now today, because the feet represent now today, right? And so I brought it up. So this whole area of dark blue in the middle was called Arabia. So it's Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, and the, the United Arab Emirates. Here's Qatar and Bahrain. And it, this, this Persian Gulf uh, is <clears throat> what separates Arabia from Iran. Can everybody see that? And right here is the Strait of Hormuz. Does this map not look familiar? Well, then maybe you need to check the headlines. You know what I mean? <laughs> because this is today. And so, <clears throat> I got some major confirmations in an amazing way that I just have to give God the glory for in closing here. So, in this video, dated May 16th, 2019, so two days ago, I'm showing this map, and it's basically the New York Stock Exchange, and remember we were talking about the ferries that go out, I've shown this map for years and years and years, and I came upon this restaurant called Balthazar, and I go to explain, let's see if the audio will work for us in Jesus' name, just one short period. And what I want, what <clears throat> what I really wanted to say was, I think that represents Belshazzar, and and I, I was I held back. I'm like, that's too much of a stretch. I just want to stick to what I was shown. And then and then two nights later, I have a dream about the writing on the wall of Belshazzar, the very thing I'm about to mention right now. Please listen. Now Belshazzar was a king in Babylon, and New York has an area called Babylon. That's all I wanted to play. <clears throat> and it's at the New York Stock Exchange. So it's a restaurant. Do you get it? Preparation, cooking, feast. It's a restaurant. Now my voice is going to go out. Look at this. <clears throat> so we're talking about this map in Babylon, and then this map, this video the stock market will crash, worshiping idols. This video is actually from 3-3-2013, and it's Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. 
and it that is all Brooklyn and the stock market and this bull and this is Broadway right here all of this is mentioned just two days ago and what did we just hear about what were they doing they were worshiping the gods of gold and silver <clears throat> and they were worshiping a king and so if I was to ask everybody right now and I will who do you think is the king of New York or the king of Babylon who, who do you think because when you figure that out you'll know that the new world order is in place that the Antichrist is rising and the church must be removed it cannot be any more clear than that the maps match yet again with visions and dreams Joel 2 Acts 2 God has clearly shown us something amazing in an amazing way because he's an amazing God let's give him praise have a wonderful weekend Jesus is coming amen